Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how easily you can deploy glue jobs or glue script essentially using serverless framework. So of course, in the past video, the links are in the description where we deployed the glue job using a Terraform script. But in serverless, you could do everything. I don't think there is anything that you cannot do in serverless, right? So this video, I'll show you the infrastructure part, how to essentially create, you know, glue jobs and deploy the glue jobs using serverless framework. Let's get started. Uh, let me quickly share my screen. All right, hopefully you guys can see my screen. And here is the plugin we wanna use, serverless glue. Uh, you know, the author has done all the heavy lifting and it's very, very easy now. So walking you over the code, right? This is gonna be lab number 15. The links would be in the description section below and I'll show you the project uh, directory sh uh, shortly. Over here, you'll have to, uh, three files, serverless.yml, glue job, which is for your job that you're writing, and an env file. Now, coming up all the way up, so here I'm defining a name of a service. I'm just saying create glue job. I'm using .env as true. These are the tags that I'm providing because it's a good practice to essentially uh, mention tags because it allows you to monitor cost, right? So here I have a tag called product, environment, created date, team, uh, customer impact, and Terraform. You know, so these will allow me to track cost essentially later on. Packages, I'm saying like uh, exclude like any node modules or you know package.json. So I'm just putting that in here. Plugins is where I declare my plugin section. Now here I'm saying glue, bucket deploy, dollar means this is a variable, and curly braces inside that we're saying env.s3 bucket. So now it's saying that env is a file. Inside that we have a, a variable called s3 bucket. Inject the value from this variable, okay? So I'll just bring this back here. Then we are saying script path. Uh, so this is essentially uh, the glue script path, the Python file name that you want on the s3, right? So here I'm saying that, uh, so if you see, oops, I made a mistake. Yeah, so here I'm saying that I want the file name. Uh, that's my glue IAM, let me just fix that. I think I uh, copy pasted the wrong variable name. Let me double check. Yeah, this one. So my file name on, on S3 is gonna be glue underscore job dot py. Uh, type as spark, I'm using a Python version, so I'm using that. This is gonna inject the role. Maximum concurrency trees, worker type standard, this is G1X, right, you could change that. Number of workers, one, timeout as 2880, maximum retries as two. Uh, here you can say local path, which means uh, I have this job in my local directory. Uh, here I just have a print statement, but this can be any job that you wanna write, okay? Um, S3 bucket, where you wanna upload, the prefix of the bucket, which means I wanna upload in the bucket in a folder called scripts, right? And execute upload as true. So. If you do that, and then all you gotta do is say SLS deploy, once you have done with that, automatically you should see on the glue console, if you come to the job section, you should see your job, as you can see my glue job, right? I already have that. You should be able to see uh, the details, for example, 3.7, Spark, uh, the all the other details you should be able to see uh, here. And as you can see, uh, the job is tagged properly, so you can see the tags, which will allow you to track the cost. Uh, the entire source code is in the description section below on my GitHub section, which could be found under lab number 15. So what this does is essentially, this allows you to essentially, uh, if you are if you just need like a glue job, this you can simply download the code, uh, you know, and simply use it, right? There are a lot of other snippets right here. So come to this section and you will see lab number 15 over here. If you think this video was useful, uh, uh, a simple like would be appreciated. And if you have any more questions, list your questions in the comment section. And if you have further details, for example, if you want to create a bucket, uh, come to the source code, I mean, come to the official documentation. They have essentially shown the steps. For example, I'll just mention really quick because I'm pretty sure there would be people who'd be like, oh, I, I wanna create a bucket too. So for those people, um, you know, if you come here, scroll down, as you can see, there's a flag which says create bucket. You can set it to true or false, default is false, right? You can come here, read more, and uh, you know, uh, add all the uh, essentially options based on your needs. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.